Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and it's day seven of the 12 projects of Christmas. Well, it's the seventh project anyway. I've gotten way behind, but as you all know, Christmas gets to be a bit of a crazy time of year, but I'm determined I'm going to have all of them done by Christmas Eve. So what I've got today is a cute little easy to make ornament that could also potentially be a box for a small item if you wanted. Um, it's a cute little kind of triangular pendulum type shape, added a little bow onto the top. You could add a little sprig of um, spruce or greenery on the top if you wanted as well. But fun, quick, and easy, because at this point, everybody just wants fun, quick, and easy. So to create this, I've cut, to start with, a piece of lightweight chipboard that's four and a half inches by two inches. And then I have marked on one side or the other, um, a point that's in the center on one end. So then I'm going to cut from that point to the opposite side corners. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut from that point to that corner and from that point, that center point to the opposite corner. Now you could also draw these in pencil and use scissors to cut this. And this is what I'm going to use then as my template because I want to do this in as um, many cuts as, uh, or as few uh, cuts as possible. So I'm going to use this um, piece as a template. So I'm going to, let's see, let's start, let's go this way. I'm going to start here at this end, come in a little ways from the corner, and I'm just going to trace around this four times connected together. So I'm going to trace, there's one. Then I'm going to lay this side on that, that uh, line with the point lining up and this end lining up. Trace it a second time. Do the same thing. Now you want to make sure you lay it right on that line and not um, leaving any gap. But it's kind of forgiving. It doesn't seem to, to matter if it's off just a hair. So there's the fourth one. Like so. Um, now I'm going to want to add a tab onto one side to connect it. So I'm going to add about oh, a little over a quarter of an inch. And then I can cut that at an angle. And then I'm going to add, because this is two inches wide, I'm going to add a top to it that's two inches by two inches. So then I'm going to, let's see, let's go from the center. The way to find the center on the opposite side of it is mark that, go from this point through that center, and that's the center there. So then I know to go an inch on each side to make my four inches, or my two inches. Then draw a line and draw a line. So then I have my four sides and my top, and I want to add some quarter inch tabs to my top as well. So I'm just using the quarter inch marking on my ruler. If you don't have quarter inch markings, then you can just mark the distance on those. So then I'm going to just take my scissors and cut this out. I'm on a pretty sharp um, angle on my tab down at the bottom because those are pretty sharp angles. Then, oh, roughly a 45 on the others. Cut it about a 45 degree angle up at these top ones. As you can see, I'm just eyeballing that, but I don't want to cut off the corners. Cut this pretty carefully. Extend beyond and then you can reach up in there easier. Like that. Then I'm gonna use my scoreboard or however you score your um, lines. I'm gonna use and I can line up my lines. Oops. So 
So I can score those in. I'll do that on all of my marked lines. One more, and then we can fold it up. Super quick and easy to make this. You can also leave the top off and put some little greenery into it. So it's kind of like a little vase or um, something along that line. Fold all my little tabs. So then we're gonna attach that. Okay, it needs to be a little sharper angle at that point down there. It doesn't wanna close right. So then we can attach all our tabs, whether you do it with tape. So it makes kind of like a little place that you could also put a small gift in. And then when you put this down, you wouldn't glue, necessarily glue it down, but just put the tabs in for the box. And then um, it could be a gift that they could open, or you can just glue those five or four tabs, the three on the top and the one down the side, and it makes kind of an obelisk shape. So then what I did with this one is in the same way I did for the template piece, I cut this one and three quarters by four, and then did it the same way to form the triangles glued those on the four sides, and also cut one for on the top. Now, before I assemble this all together, um, you can punch a hole in the middle of the center. I just used some twine to feed down in through the hole and tied a knot to give you a hanger on there. And then I've just taken some cute ribbon and glued that on the top. It happens to be wired so I can, you know, play fun things with shaping it and such. But super quick and easy. Um, ornament. You could also put um, some little potpourri in there, maybe poke a few holes or punch a few holes so it's nice and clean, but put a little potpourri in it and it could be done in um, like shabby colors or something like that. Um, and that could be something that somebody could hang in their closet. Um, um, so a little gift kind of thing with some potpourri in it would be also a fun thing to do with this um, if you didn't want to make it into an ornament. But anyway, Fun, fast, quick, and easy um, for the seventh project of Christmas. Thanks a bunch for watching.